In today's video, I'm going to show you how to control the visibility of the web browser context menu. So when you right click on any web page by default, you can see this browser context menu that appears with all of these utilities. It appears on quite every website. You can see it even on GitHub. But the question is, what if for some reason in your application, you want to prevent your users from accessing this browser context menu? How to do that? That's what we are going to be talking of in this very short video. So if you're new to Flat, it's quite easy to understand what is happening over here. So I import Flat as FT. So FT is the conventional alias, very popular in the Flat community. The main function is the main entry point of application. And in the page, we are adding this text. So you saw the text a while ago. Hey there, guys. Over here, we launch the application by saying ft.app and then provide the target. So the main entry point of our application, which is the main. And here we provide the view equals to ft.appview.webbrowser, specifically telling Flat to open this application in web mode. Now let's run this file. There are several ways in which you can run this file. So in Python, you can right click on your file and then click on this run main over here. And as you can see, it opens the application successfully. But the only issue when running this mode is you're not going to see your changes live as you make modifications. So if you make modifications like this, you don't see them live in the web browser or in your web application showing up. So to run this application in hot reload mode, you are going to open your terminal and inside your terminal. So I'm in the right folder, browser context menu. And from here, we are going to use flat run. So flat run is the flat command or CLI command to run your application in hot reload mode. So when calling up flat run, you provide the name of the file to be run in hot reload mode. So in this case, main.py. As you can see from here on the browser context menu, main.py. When you press enter, you can see that Flat opens a native desktop window application and at the same time provides you with a URL to open your web application. So this is the web application and this is the window application. The reason why Flat provides this link over here is because you specify the view to be ft.appview.webbrowser. If you want Flat, to specifically and only run your application in web mode and prevent it from opening a desktop window like this. Or what you can do is to specify a web flag. So specifying this web flag tells Flat to only open your application in web mode, no desktop window. I press enter and you can see it is opened over here. So now back to the context menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get rid of this text and instead say ft.switch. As you can see, this is the switch. We're going to provide the switch with a label, enable browser context menu. So let me save this first. And this is the text over here. Let me reduce the zoom. And because by default or at the start, the browser context menu is enabled, I'm going to make this to be true at the beginning. To do that, you simply provide a value, true, save it. And you can see it is true at the beginning. Now, what we want to do is when the user toggles this switch like this, so the value becomes false, we want to disable this. For that, we are going to provide an unchange over here and say handle change. So handle change is an event callback, which is going to be called each time the user changes the value of the switch. So we're going to have in here E. So E is of type control event. You can see that when you have one unchange, it has the type control event. From here, we're going to add a conditional statement. We're going to say if e.control.value. So e.control is kind of a shortcut to easily access the control which triggered the event. In this case, the switch. So here we are checking the value of the switch, which is this value. Because it's a Boolean, we can leave it like this and continue. Or we can say it's true to be more explicit. So if e.control.value is true, we want to enable the browser context menu. To do that, you simply do page dot browser context menu. So this is how you access the browser context menu with it. And then you can see it has enable, which is a function, disable, which is a function, and disabled, which is a Boolean read-only property. So disabled by default is false. You can use that to check if the browser context menu is disabled or not. So from here, I'm going to say enable. Else, we are going to say browser context menu dot disable the function. So yeah. We enable the browser context menu when the value of the switch is true. So when the user changes the value to true, as you're going to see in a while and else. So for all other conditions, so there's only false because this is a Boolean condition or this is a Boolean value. Else we are going to disable it. So let's see if you can see by default it is enabled. So the switch is the switch has a value of true. The browser context menu is visible. And when I toggle it, I right click 
you can see the browser context menu is not shown anymore so it's a success if we enable it again you can see it is visible once more but once we disable it you don't see the browser context menu so that's actually it you simply have to grab the page then the browser context menu and from here use the utility methods enable and disable by the way you can also access the page by saying e.page so e.page is also a shortcut to access the page as e.control is a shortcut to access the control which triggered the event so you can feel free to say over here e.page and you can see by default it is visible and then when i toggle it it is not visible anymore i toggle again and it is visible and not visible so that's all i wanted to share with you in today's video i really hope this helps you in the web applications you are building don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting flat content feel free to drop any questions or issues you face in the comments below and i will respond to you as soon as possible thanks for watching this was dirty cowboy